Hello everyone and welcome to Just Ask Gigi Live, although I have to say it's like live on tape today. Uh, not exactly on tape either, but you get the idea. We're, we're not officially live, we're recording this. Improvising. We're improvising as well and we're inside a, a, a trailer here as you can see. And of course this is the one, the only Gigi Stetler. I'm Tom Alexander and uh, so today here we have a Camping World Challenge winner. So I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna let Gigi explain most of that to you, but on your birthday, we had a, uh, we had a, uh, a challenge to, to sort of celebrate your birthday. Um, I guess you could say we wanted folks to tell us their Camping World horror stories, and then you would select the winners. This particular trailer is a winner. Yes, it is a winner. And I guess the reason that I, I wanted to make a point that, you know, because going on RV horror stories and camping world experience and I'm looking at all these all these comments and all these people that you know that haven't had use of their camper for six and eight months and nine months and like long that's time. not possible yeah it doesn't take that long to get anything repaired or get a part or get warranty authorization it doesn't that doesn't exist so I wanted to prove to camping world that they're BSing their customers because that's not what happened so anyway we this was one of our winners and this camper um, she had purchased it new and I believe she she had some warranty issues but I think her overall problem was the uh, floor was soft and after just several yeah. several months of, of after she purchased it brand new camper and mm. so she had taken it to camping world uh, for what you would assume a manufactured, you know, protective floor, and I believe, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it sat there eight or nine months or something like that, and you know they couldn't get approval, and I don't know, yeah. it went back and forth, and I, I don't know the whole gist of, of how long it sat there, um, yeah. but the purpose of this today, um, and actually, this. If, if they would have hired me or called me when this situation happened, um, it, it, believe it or not, it really isn't a camping world problem. It is, you know, she, after, you know, conversations um, with her and what Camping World had told her was that um, she had apparently lost her awning or had damage to her awning or something, and uh, the repair person who fixed the awning incorrectly fixed it and that's what caused the, the water leak. Yeah. And that, she has insurance, she has Progressive, and she called Progressive, but I guess when Progressive came to Camping World, uh, Camping World didn't address the issue correctly, and Progressive denied her claim and said they don't cover water intrusion. And so it's very, yeah. you, you got, number one, it's a shop's responsibility to know how to call in a claim and how to present a claim and an estimate to an insurance company to get it covered if it should be covered. And so in that respect, it is camping on fault because it should have been a covered claim. So I wanted to, to when I, I went and I picked the unit up, I paid the expense to have it shipped here to Fort Lauderdale and it is here in, in my personal dealership shop. And I went through and when I opened up the door and I, I'm in, you know kind of going through it and inspecting yeah. it, I, I, I'm going to take you straight to it and and show you that this is should have been a covered repair that Progressive would have covered. So if you step on the way there for yep, a second. Yep, sure. Absolutely. Um, so if you look over here, you see this right here? AB, our great photographer, can you see that? <laughs> That's a screw hole going right from the outside wall. That's where they screwed the awning and they missed the stud and they went straight through the wall. So yeah. if you see those pimples and you see this long line there right there, those pimples is water. That's where the water came in from the awning and it went straight down the floor. And then I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but if you watch my heels, you see how the floor is pushing down? You see that? Okay, so that is all, this is all rotten now because it went down the wall and um, and it brought it out this section of the floor. So 
if this had come to my shop, the first thing I would so even if even if the owner of the RV, let's say even if you know whether they admit it or not, if they're the ones that made the mistake and screwed the on the screw all the way through, the screw is too long. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's a covered loss. It's an accident. <laughs> It's not an intentional tort, it is an accident. So it still would have been covered by Progressive. It's not a factory warranty problem. Right. It really isn't. Yeah. And now I can't get Progressive to reopen the claim because I'm not sure what Camping World told them because they wanted to you know, shun their responsibilities. Yeah. So now in the meantime, it's a customer's responsibility. So, and now it's my responsibility because I did promise to, to do the repair as, a, um, as the Camping World Challenge winner, but the importance of, of, of what happens is between warranty, insurance, extended warranty, there's so many, you have more coverage than you think you, you have. Mm -hmm. you have. Let's say you have more solutions than you think you have. You just don't know what they are. So, because I never have problems. We only have solutions, remember that time? <laughs> Absolutely, that's the mantra here. Yes. Absolutely. So, <laughs> and and but the thing is that you know you have a lot of trees to bark up, but nobody knows what what trees, what the, the right tree to bark up to get, you know, to, to get the repair done. Right. So, when you have a situation like that, you know, and if you hired me with my GPS service, you can FaceTime me. You can FaceTime me where the water's coming in. I could have found this problem in two minutes. Okay, because I would have I would have known exactly. Well, first off, if you'd have told me that you lost the awning or had an awning repair, I would have I would have directed you to that department yeah. right away. Yeah. You know, and then I would have gone on the inside and I would have followed. You know, the water always kind of finds a way. So, um, and we would have immediately, you know, called Progressive, made the correct claim. They would have paid for it, and then whether you have taken it to Camping World or anybody could have done the work. Yeah. Um, and they would have been paid. And it's a it's a big claim. This is a ten to twelve thousand dollar job because I have to remove this slide to go under the floor or at least move it, get it halfway out, see what's going on with this wall um, and yeah. uh, the water heater and, and there's something going on all around here. So, um, but it, it could have been prevented and that's the whole point of, of GPS, or just ask GG Live, you know, these are the things that I'd like to do once a week is pick, you know, a situation and, you know, if you, it, 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 and you know, if sometimes like I've had customers that have overflowed the shower and and, and got their floor soft, and they yeah. they're afraid to admit that right. they think that that's going to be denied because they negligently yeah. overflowed the shower. That's a covered loss. Is it really? I see. I would. I would. Yeah, it's an accident. I would have thought <laughs> like they would just like, oh geez, maybe I shouldn't say anything because I it's my fault. It's you know, I, 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 it's an accident. It's well, an you accident. Tell. You're not coming yeah. here with a with a garden hose and flooding. Yeah, right, exactly. It's an accident. Yeah. You, you know, and, and I have more more <laughs> clients, men, men, men especially. Yeah, of course, like, naturally. That and then actually, my my <laughs> the next RV that's going to come in here, you're going to get a good laugh at because, yeah. um, you know, and some guy yeah. screwed up basically. And, and, <laughs> but, but it's just funny that, you know, men in general, they never want to admit that they would make a mistake or yeah. do something wrong. Or, or ask something. for directions, you know? right? You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break while we switch units because, unfortunately, we are covered with rain outside today. And, yeah, it is and, really uh, pouring here in South I, Florida. I've ruined my shoes. And, uh, what are you gonna do? But I got to get up on a roof on the next one. So. The company covers. Uh, does the company cover shoes too? I'm gonna send some. I have to figure out what I'm gonna bill you. I wasn't sure if that was like under the under the GPS. Uh, uh, I don't know, but you know, it's not. The, <laughs> you know, shoe, shoes are a priority to yeah, me. Yeah, I, shoes, so. you're, you're, yes, you're a big shoe person. I'm a big shoe person. Yeah, so when yeah. I rode my shoes outside, I'm not happy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll take that quick break and we'll switch units and uh, and we'll be, we'll be back again. All right, here we go.